everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am here today with Marley as my model and we are going to be doing a live makeover on her today. Marley has never had her makeup professionally done and you don't really wear makeup day to day, right? Mm -mm. Okay, so no makeup. She does fun looks for Halloween. Her mom has done her makeup for dances and Marley said I can do whatever I want. So I am going to do something fun today. This will be awesome. So now I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask you as I go, maybe, and you can let me know. Um, so we curled her hair before we started, and then what I did for Marley's brows, she has, like, fantastic brows, and she's very kind. She let me pluck some of them on her lid, but I left them pretty full, and I really didn't do a lot of shaping. I used um, the Anastasia Brow Gel with a tint, a little bit of a pigment. This is soft brown, so I just brushed this through her brows to give them a little more depth because your brows are actually pretty light for your how your hair is, so we just darkened them up a little bit. So I am going to go ahead and get started on her lid. Marley has great full brows. She has beautiful eyes. Um, she has a little bit of a hooded eye. So we're, I think we're going to do like something smoky on her and play with like a soft liner. Does that sound good? Okay. Okay. Anything you don't like? Anything you're like, Julie, please do not do? No. Well, I don't know. I've never had it done before. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll find out. So this is Soft Brown by MAC. This is, go ahead and close for me. This is my favorite shade to do in her transition. So since her lid space is a little bit smaller, she doesn't need like much of a transition shade. I think I'm only going to be working with two color shadows today. I'm just going to wing this out a little bit. I feel like, um, you like to play with your hair cut. Like, that's your experimenting. Instead of, like, wearing makeup yeah. and changing it, you're, like, a hair girl. Yeah. Well, I wanted a piercing, but my mom said no. Oh. <laughs> Where did you want a piercing? Mm, maybe my nose. Okay. That's funny. All right. Go ahead and look forward. So I just did a really light, light wash of color. So you can see when she opens her eyes, you don't see her lid so much um that's what i'm deciding actually if i want to go kind of light and shimmery on her lid or just kind of a dark smoky i might do a little bit of lightness in the corner and then smoky for the rest of it so that was soft brown so we're going to go in with um this is another mac shade this is bronze and this is beautiful it's a shimmer we're gonna do some shimmer on miss marley today i think we're gonna go girly marley okay i think we're gonna do like a girly glam on you go ahead and close and this will be so fun and you will have your very own YouTube video. If you ever want to be girly glam again, you can watch it. Sweet. And see what we did. Do you ever watch makeup videos on YouTube? Uh, sometimes. My mom shows me some. Who does your mom like to watch? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you like to watch gamers, you said, right? Gonna yeah. Your head a little bit. That's fun. Okay, so go ahead and open for me. What I'm doing with Marley, go ahead and look straight forward at this first camera right there. So what I'm doing with Marley to accentuate her pretty eyes is I'm extending the shadow out a little bit to kind of um, wing out similar to where her natural brow ends. And I'm doing that just to give some emphasis to her eye and just, um, just to expand the eye a little bit and give some definition with the shadow because, um, go ahead and close. Like I said earlier, just depending on the lid space you're working with, um, sometimes your shadow isn't really seen when the eye is open. Which I actually love. I feel like with eyes like yours, Marley, you don't really need to wear much shadow, if any, if you want. Have you worn, um, fake lashes before? Um, I've never put any on besides, like, ones that are, like, feathers or something ridiculous. Ooh, Okay. Yeah, that's what you were saying earlier when I asked you if you were doing your makeup. You're like, well, for Halloween, I was. I feel like you go big or you don't really wear yeah. much. But you don't need much. Like, when we were taking your before pictures, I'm like, oh, she's just so pretty. Like, you really don't need makeup, but it's very fun if you wanted. So I did Marley's mom's makeup on my channel earlier this week. We did, she is the beautiful woman with the, like, pastel rainbow hair. And we did a really fun look on her. Okay, let's do, this is a highlighter palette. This is the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. And this was limited edition. 
which is super sad. I love this palette. I love the undertones of the highlighters, but I saw on their Instagram yesterday that they are bringing it back. So I can now use it on my channel and you guys can get it if you want to. So we're going to do, we're going to do this really beautiful gold shade. This is the 143. I think that stands for I love you, right? When someone says like 143, because mm -hmm. that's how many letters are in each word. Anyways, that's what we're going to do on Miss Marley. So I'm taking a flat shader brush and I'm going to spread this on her lid. Go ahead and close. So the only matte shadow I used on Marley um, was the soft brown that I did in her crease. And that wasn't super necessary. I mostly covered it with the bronze color, the shimmer. Uh, but I, I do like to add a matte base everywhere just to get things to spread evenly. It's just preference. I know some people don't like to do that. They're going to work with a lot of shimmers. They won't put anything matte down first. So just experiment and see what you like. And I completely changed my mind. I said I was going to do one eyeshadow color on you, and I'm going to do like four. I changed my mind. <laughs> So I didn't really plan a look for Marley before we started. Sometime before my life, if I want to teach you guys a technique, I'll sort of plan a look. Like yesterday, I showed you guys how to use cream shadows, so we did that. But this is more like, this is just kind of what goes through my head when I'm doing somebody's makeup. Like as I go, I'll see how their face is playing with colors and shadows, and I'll switch things up on what I think would be flattering for them. You're gonna be so glam when you leave me, Marley. You'll have to go to lunch with your mom or something. Okay, I want to brighten Marley's inner corner, so I might use this palette. I might use something else. This um, this palette has like a white shade called Forever, and sometimes that's really, really pretty on the inner corner, but it's it's very white. It almost appears like a pure white, and I think on Marley that would be a little too bold. So I'm going to, let's use, um, let's use Becca. Okay, this is a Mo Moonstone by Becca. So this is another highlighter. I like to use highlighters on the inner corner of the eyes. Um, so Moonstone by Becca is one of their lightest shade, but it has like a, a pearl sort of finish. It's not as white as the one in the other palette. So this is going to be really pretty on Miss Marley and I'm just gonna use this like itty bitty bitty brush. This is Morphe M234. And it's just the cutest. I just got this and it's so good for detail work. Go ahead and face forward for me. Perfect. I'll probably be moving your face a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is it weird to have somebody be like touching your face so much? And, okay. No. You're doing great. <laughs> Go ahead and actually open your eyes and look forward and look slightly that way. Good. The lights aren't too bright. Good. Now look this way. Perfect. Good. Look forward. I'm just going to get a little baby Q-tip. Look up for me. Good. A little eye sleepy in there. Perfect. Okay. So now that that is on... We're going to see how that, I'm, sometimes I add highlighter after the foundation and stuff is done. Um, so let's do a little eyeliner in Marley and then we'll go in with the skin. And we are live guys, so if you are in the live chat and you want to drop some questions, I can answer them for you. If you have any makeup questions regarding this look or anything else you've seen. So earlier this week, I did um, brown lashes on my model and you guys love them. They're super fun. So I think I'm going to use these on Marley today. These are the Ardell wispies they have wispies in brown and they have dimmy wispies in brown um and i will use probably one of those on marley today um so i'm gonna also use some brown gel liner on her i think that will be very pretty so i just kind of scrape this out of the palette and i like to put it on my hand to warm it up And on Marley, I'm going to use one of my Anastasia brushes. This one is number 12. I like this one because it's very small. It's an angled brush and it's very, very stiff. So your line isn't going to spread out and it's tapered very thin at the end. So it'll give you a really nice skinny line. All right. I am going to draw right under your lashes, kind of in your waterline. So I'm going to have you face forward and look down for me, but don't close. And I'm going to lift your lid up a little bit. 
you can blink if you need to. This this and me putting on lashes on you will probably be the weirdest today. So you can, yeah, you can never... blink. You can blink if you need to. <laughs> okay. Do your eyes are you sensitive? No, yeah. it's fine. Okay. Go ahead and look down for me. Perfect. And I am just touching right in her little lashes. And give you a blinking break. <laughs> we'll do the other side and then I'll do the inner corners. Okay, yes, perfect. Go ahead and look down again. I'm gonna lift your lid. So this makes the lashes look so thick and so beautiful. This is really great for hooded eyes. So I like to do the outside corner first, especially how like Marley hasn't had someone do this before and it's very <laughs> invasive. So I get her used to it and now I'm gonna do the inner corners because that's where you need to be very, very precise. So Marley, I'm gonna have you uh, keep your face right there and then like you're doing, look over here with your eyes. And I'm just gonna do your inner tear duct, a really skinny, cute little line. You're actually doing great. This is like always weird for people to have done. You're doing good. You're a pro, Marley. Go ahead and look this way with your eyes. Yes, perfect. So the brown on this is gorgeous. This is a great brown. Okay, look forward, yeah. So you can even see just that. It brought a lot of definition to her eyes, but what's really good about it is I don't have to do a thick line of liner on her. I can bring a lot of drama, a lot of attention, and have it be really soft. Look at me. Okay, look this way. Perfect. And kind of down. Good. Let me get right in there. So when you're doing this on yourself, you do, like, you want your eyes to be looking away from the brush. So if you're going in this way, you kind of want to look over. It's obviously hard because you need to see what you're doing. So I just kind of will hold the mirror over and get in. Um, it just helps you get a cleaner, sharper line when your lid is sort of flattened out. Go ahead and close now for me. But when you're doing it on a client, it's very uncomfortable to see the brush coming at you. So that's another reason I have them look the other way. Marley did say she, you do like a, like a wing, right? Mm -hmm. Like you do like to play with liner. I might not be doing, go ahead and close. I don't think I'm going to do an extreme wing on you today because I want your eyes to be more of like a soft glam, but we'll do a little flick for you. Marley's the best. Her mom brought her today and she didn't even, you didn't even know what was going to happen. I didn't. <laughs> you didn't know you were going to be on YouTube, did you? Mm-mm. Well, welcome to my channel. We're so happy to have you. Did you, you knew you were getting your makeup done, though. Yeah, okay. that's all I was told. <laughs> Go ahead and close. She, Marley's the best. She's the best sport. Are your friends into makeup? Um, My best friend Desiree is super into makeup. Is she? Will she watch this video? Probably. Hi, Desiree. Hi. Love you. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, go ahead and close for me. Perfect. I'm actually going to tilt you this way a little bit. I'm going to kind of come in front of you. So what I'm doing is just lifting Marley's lid up, and I'm getting right near her lash line. For just a thin little flick of liner. So if you like a thick, thick liner, um, you might want a fatter brush than this one. I still like the angled brush, but this one gets it nice and skinny, which is my preference, depending on their eye shape. And then we're going to get that little flick at the end. Open for me. Very pretty. Let's, um, let's clean you up underneath and we'll give you more of a flick. So this is um, my slur water and a little cotton pad. Go ahead and look forward. So we had, because I did shimmers and metallics on her, go ahead and look up. We definitely had some fallout under her eyes, which is fine. This will get rid of it. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and pull that shadow out that way very gently. Get a nice little lift for her. Clean up under here for you. Okay, pretty. And I left some of what had fallen under her eyes, if that makes sense. So what I really like to do when I'm working in the crease, go ahead and close for me. I will take my crease brush and I'll really work the shadow and I do not mind if it means it's, it's getting a little bit of shadow under their eyes. Obviously her eyes are closed so it's not getting any in her eyes but go ahead and open for me. I like that it leaves a little bit of shadow under her lash line as well. So it's very pretty. Alright so once I've done that then sometimes I'll add a little wing. Go ahead and look forward for me and open. Yeah. I like to do it with their eyes open and a tendency when you do a wing, 
people always want to pull on the eye and get it nice and tight, but then when you let go, the eye like changes shape, <laughs> so your wing will look a little different. So I, I don't, I put my hand there to kind of rest, but I don't pull on the skin, and we're just going to flick it slightly. Go ahead and close to me. We're going to connect it. Open. Good. Pretty, pretty. Same thing, look forward. Sorry, I'm up in your business. You have to look at me again <laughs> and close. Good job. Okay. Open. Get very pretty. If you ever want to adjust your wing, go ahead and open. You can use like a pointed Q-tip. Okay, check the chat. Hello, Jen. Someone says, hi, Marley. Jen says, hi. This is a great oh. model today. How did I tutorial? Thank you. You're welcome. Marley has some beautiful eyes. Beth says you have a very pretty eye color. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Marley, for being Julie's model today. Yes, thank you, Marley, for being so fun. Okay. Um, let's do, let's do a little bit of liner under her eyes as well. Go ahead and look up for me. Um, I'm going to do, because this is brown, I'm going to do some of Marley's waterline. So look up for me. This will be pretty. This is a great way to give some drama to hooded eyes, um, is to put water in, or eyeliner in the bottom waterline. Good. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and look up. A great eye shape. You have like the almond princess eyes. Do you dress up for every Halloween? Like pretty with an intense costume? Um, yeah. Go ahead and look this way. Remind me what you were this year? Goth unicorn. Go oh, goth unicorn. Okay, I don't think I saw you at the party. Oh. Uh, you'll have to show me a picture. That's amazing. Go ahead and look this way. So, did you wear black or unicorn colors? Um, I wore like black with like a red tutu and then like red and black striped socks. So cute. And I had like light up devil horns. Oh my gosh. Devil horns and then like a unicorn horn too? Okay, mm -hmm. that's amazing. That's so cute. You and your mom are both very creative. Your whole family, your dad is too, right? Mm -hmm. Into stuff, yeah. That is so fun. What were you the year before? Um, I think, um, I was Helga Pataki from Hey Arnold. Oh, Helga. Yeah. Helga watched that show. Was she like that? She's the short little, little blonde girl with the, like, broomstick hair, I guess. Okay, totally know who you're <laughs> yeah. talking about. The one that calls him football head. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> She's my favorite, so it was her. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, we are... We'll do your lashes now, and then we'll move on to foundation. Um, let's do, actually, let's put the main camera on Marley really quick so you guys can see the eyeshadow without the, um, without the lashes. And then we are going to do the brown wispies. But I think we're going to do the dimmy on her. The dimmy are a little bit shorter. The dimmy are more of a cat eye. The regular wispies are a little bit longer, and they're more of like a rounded shape. So depending on your eye shape, they're both fun to try. Right, and we're gonna use our duo glue today and my little lash tweezers. Okay, so usually I need to trim all the lashes for the client. So what I do, these are new. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried them on Marley yet. So I pull them out and they always come with a little bit of stickiness on them. Go ahead mm -hmm. and close for me. So what I do is I have them close and I stick it on their eyes with that stickiness. And then you can go ahead and open and look at me. Good. And then I can see if I need to trim it. And I don't. They fit great. So we're going to put that on Miss Marley. Usually I need to trim a little bit off of the edge, but the Demi Wispies are a little bit smaller. So I really have to trim these. So a lot of you guys that have been watching always say you struggle with lashes. 
Um, I generally always do a lash on my models in the live and I try to give tips. Um, I want to know if it's been helping. Have you guys been trying lashes? How's it going for you? Let me know. So when you get the glue on, you want it to dry for about 30 seconds. So we're just going to fan it. Give Marley a little fan. <laughs> it's kind of waving your hair. You're like a model. Okay, we'll check the chat while this dries. Uh, Jen says that you have a, seem to have a fun personality and you, she sees your flirty eyes and beautiful smile. Thank you. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, your daughter has eyes like Marley. Yeah, Marley has beautiful eyes. Beth says she has eyes like yours too. Um, Kelly says, for loose skin on the eyelids, do you recommend a liquid liner or a shadow liner or a gel liner? For loose skin, I generally like to play with a uh, powder first. Like I'll do an eyeshadow liner. Um, just because it gives you a lot of flexibility to create a shape you want without it being permanent when you go in with a gel or a liquid, it's a little bit harder to touch up, especially a liquid. I would say in order of like difficulty, we have shadow, easy peasy, gel, you can manipulate it for a little bit and then liquid like advanced. <laughs> so I would start with the shadows and work your way, work your way up. Okay, go ahead and look down for me, but don't close. Good job. So look down with your eyes, yes. And then I'm gonna just kind of push these right into your lash line. Might feel a little bit funny. Keep looking down if you can. Good, so the reason I don't have you close is just because I don't wanna glue your eyes shut, but you can blink if you need to. Good, look down a little bit. How you doing? I'm good. Good, you're doing great. Lashes never are... never had this done before, so. Yes, lashes are definitely. Weird, let's see. Feels funny. It does feel funny. I'm going to go ahead and let that outer corner dry. You're lifting a little bit on the inside, but I'm going to go back and fix it after for you because I think it will be a little bit more comfortable that way. So lashes, when you first have them put on, they feel weird. You can feel them there and stuff like that, but once the glue dries and I get your mascara on, you won't feel them. They're very comfortable. But at first... You're very aware of them, like, oh, there's something on my eye. <laughs> yeah, it feels like you put a sticker on my eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good, a good way to explain it, kind of. Sticky. So this is the duo glue I'm using today. I, I use this and I use the Callus brand. The duo glue is a little bit harder to work with, but I just like to kind of try new things. So we'll get this to dry. Looking good, Marley. We're going to show you at the very end. Okay. So what I'm going to do on Marley's skin, I'll kind of explain it as I wait for this to dry. So Marley, I would say you kind of, you have more yellow undertones, but you have some pretty pink in your face. Like you have more redness, but mm -hmm. your neck and like chest area is more yellow. So I'm going to match her neck and her chest, kind of her overall skin tone. Um, and we're we're gonna go a little more for full coverage on Marley. If Marley was my client, depending on what she would doing, wanted to do, a lot of times I like to do like a more sheer foundation because she's so young and she has pretty skin and stuff like that. But she said I could play, so we're gonna do a full coverage. And I'm gonna show you guys how to work with full coverage foundation when you are canceling out redness. So when I um, when I do my foundation on her and I match it to her chest, she's gonna look a little bit washed out because you're taking away all that color variation in her face. Go ahead and look down. So I'm going to show you guys um, just some techniques I like to do to bring life back to the face. Good. Keep looking down. You can actually close if you want to. Is that more comfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can close. And I'm using the clear glue on her. If I'm putting, I generally use clear, but if I'm using glue or putting lashes on somebody who has not had them before, for sure, always clear because you don't know if they're going to be blinking or how they're going to feel and you don't want the lashes to um, like get on their lid, the glue. But you're doing pretty good for never have having lashes on. You're like, you're a champ, man. Okay, so what I'm doing, look down for me. Good. Go ahead and close again. Perfect. So I'm just pushing the lashes like right into your lash line. So it probably feels like I'm kind of prodding at your eye a little bit. But that's what I'm doing. So on this eye, 
we got the corner on but this side wasn't really adhering well and so I just let the corner dry and now I'm adding more glue just to the inside corner and I put the glue on like the back of my tweezers just to keep it clean but if you own glue with like a little brush on it you could just brush it on yourself so we have the glue on we're gonna let it dry go ahead and actually stay closed for me we'll let that dry while I put on a little bit of foundation so I'm going to use my long wear foundation on her this is a natural radiant foundation and this is a lighter shade and you can see it has um, like a nice yellow undertone it matches her neck and chest very well um, so I'm gonna put that on with a brush and I'm gonna get started on her face while that glue gets a little bit tacky and then I'll go work with that with that lash how's your skin feeling really it feels good okay Good. I'm coming back in for your lash so you'll feel me pushing it in. Good. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. Go ahead and kind of flutter for me. Good. Now go ahead and close again. I just wanted to make sure you weren't getting getting stuck. If you put lashes on people or on yourself, I don't know why you would do this on yourself, with your eyes closed or your eye closed, it's so easy to get your two lids stuck together. So that's why I'm like having her blink and flutter so much because I don't want her to get stuck. If you do get stuck or if they get stuck, it's it's so easy to unstick it. You just hold their lower lid and have them like look up and it pops open. It's just not a very comfortable thing. So I, do, I avoid it so it doesn't ever happen. Okay, so Marley has, her skin was a little bit more dry. Um, so with her foundation, I'm doing a lot of pressing motions. I don't wanna do any swirls and disrupt her skin and have it get a little flaky or anything like that. So I'm just pressing it in with my brush and I'll probably do a lot of work with my beauty blender too. Looking good, Marley. Riley, how old are you? Are you? 18. 18, okay. 18. And she is like, you're graduated, right? Like you're a senior mm -hmm. this year, but you graduated early? Yes. Way to go. How does it feel? Like, do you feel so free? Like you don't have to go to school and your friends do? I feel antisocial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably kind of weird, right? Like you're like yeah. done before everyone. Like I, awesome, but weird. Yeah. Like when everyone's finally done, I can finally like call my friends during the day. <laughs> What are um, phone rules like at high school? Like, are you allowed to have your phone during class? Like, if the, your friends were texting you, would they get in big trouble or does, like, everyone do that? It depends on which teacher. Some teachers are just, like, as long as I get paid. And some other <laughs> ones are care. just, like, yeah. My last school that I went to was uh, just totally chill with it because uh, everybody would just, like, it would be, like, 15 minutes of work for an hour, so... Everyone would always be on their phones because they were done. <laughs> oh, I see. I can see that happening in like math class or something like that where it's like you just have X amount of work and when you're done, you're done. You know, there's yeah. like, that's so funny. There were not phones when I went to high school. I didn't get a phone until I was like 19 and everyone had them at then for sure. Like all my friends had phones, but like, I don't like people to be able to contact me. I'm like, then I have to respond to their messages. Mm -hmm. Okay, answer boys that I don't want to go out with, like, you know, it's a thing. So. I finally got, like, an iPhone instead of a flip phone recently. Ooh, on Marley, <laughs> you have leveled up. I have. How do you <laughs> like it? I like being able to have apps. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Apps are the best. What apps do you have? Like, what were your first downloads? Um, like, TikTok. Okay. Crunchyroll, because I love anime. <laughs> What's Crunchyroll? The good game? It's a anime watching site. Oh, nice. It's a cute name. And TikTok, do you TikTok or you just watch TikToks? Um, I've only made a couple. I'll have to go see you. That's cute. Do you have your parents see them then? Isn't that the yeah. cool thing to do? Make them dance with you? Did your mom dance <laughs> in your TikTok? Uh, not yet. <laughs> 
I'll go ahead and paste forward for you. So you can see this is literally a perfect match to her neck and her chest, like identical, but it does look a little more, like initially as I'm putting it on, it probably looks light just because it's so different in tone to the redness on her face. So what I am gonna do for Miss Marley is we're definitely gonna do some contouring, we're gonna do some bronzing, and we're gonna do some blush. Otherwise, she'll feel very blank to just have all this full coverage when she's not used to it. really great skin Marley. Thank you. What do you do? Do you have like a skin routine or are you like too young for that? You just wash your face? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> do you have beauty items you like to buy? Like are you a perfume girl or do you buy lip gloss or any sort of makeup? Hair I stuff? have like a whole drawer full of like chapstick Ooh, and lip okay. gloss and stuff. <laughs> That's my favorite. You're a lip girl. Mm -hmm. What is the best chapstick? Um, like in like terms of flavor. Everything. Um, I want one for flavor, one for hydration, one for like looks. Like I just love the way it looks. I don't know. I I actually really like purple lipstick. Would that be cute on you? Yeah. Um, I actually tend to draw dress like more goth most okay. of the time. I love it, but you pull it off. It looks so cute on you. Mm -hmm. So you do like the black and then your cute purple lips, mm -hmm. like a deep purple, like a, a plum dark purple or like a light, like purple. a deep purple. Okay, cute. That'd be cute on you. Yeah, that and then just like normal, just chapstick. Have you ever used, I'm going to give you a sample of some lipstick. There's this shade by MAC. It's called Rebel. It's mm -hmm. the world's prettiest purple and it's very, very rare. I have like. I've heard. They have lots of makeup there. That's yeah. what somebody was telling me. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I think my favorite makeup kit from there was, because I'm a nerd, makeup they had a, a One Direction one there once. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. My sister loves One Direction. She came out to California when they had their concert. I wanted to go to one, but then they broke up, and I was like... Aw, bummer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to curl your lashes. This is an, another thing that will, will be weird, but I'm going to be gentle. Go ahead and kind of look forward, and you are going to open. Let's see, I'm going to wiggle it by your lash line. Does that pinch at all? Mm -mm. Okay, I'm going to give you some squeezes. Oh, you did great. You handled it like a champ. Some people are like, this would be weird to me. I do not like my eyes getting messed with. I remember I was in a play in elementary, and they had to put mascara on me, and I'm like, I can't, I can't deal. Like, I have to put it on myself. Mm -hmm. This is so weird. Get away from my eyes. I'm weird about eyes, though. I've had like really bad eyes my whole life. Like in a kindergarten, I had like huge glasses. So in sixth grade, they my parents got me contacts, but I was so scared of touching my eyes. I didn't ever, I was not able to put them in until I was like 16. <laughs> I was scared of them. Well, I normally wear glasses, but I just want to get contacts for like when I'm trying to go on a roller coaster or something so I can <laughs> <Yeah>. not <laughs> be afraid of dying because yeah. I can see. No. <laughs> Your glasses are so cute on you. I love your glasses. Yeah, I picked them up. They kind of look like uh, Austin Power glasses. They're so cute. There are so many more cute glasses now. I feel like when I was little, it was just like, here's some giant glasses. We have one style. I like the like big blocky glasses style. They're Those are actually like now. way more expensive now. Mine were blocky, but like they were big, but with skinny frames, I think. So like not mm -hmm. cute. But like oh. the, yeah, the ones you're talking about are cute. My mom had, like, the really big ones with a clear frame. Ooh, that's cute. Have you worn contacts? Um, no, not before. I've tried to get some for, okay. like, a Can Halloween costume. Get... Oh, like the crazy ones? Yeah. Those are fun. Have you seen the ones that, like, make your eyes disappear, like they white out your eyes? Oh, that sounds so creepy. They're I don't so want creepy. that. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're way weird. Don't get them. Or they have ones that make your eyeballs look like a cat. Like your pupils turn like diamonds or something. Oh, that's cool. I've seen some pretty crazy ones. I think the weirdest ones I saw was they had ones where they made your pupils look like uh, the little like squiggly lines from like the Rick and Morty pupils. Oh, yeah. that's fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's funny. 
Okay, so this is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, and this is a very light shade. This is vanilla, but it's light 0.2, so this is pretty much matching her foundation. It's not really lightening under her eyes, but it does have more of a pinky tone, which I like for the under eye area. The peachiness conceals any coloring. A lot of people have like a slight blue tint under there. So because it's peach, I am bringing it down a little bit just to brighten. But it's very natural because it's, like I said, it's similar to the foundation shade I did on her. So I always like, I'm going to turn you kind of forward, yeah, and work on you this way. So I always like to brighten people's under eyes. I just think it's really, really pretty to have this area be brightened up, like I do little triangles. But I'm not into the trend where you do your concealer like four shades lighter than your face. It's just really hard. It's really hard to get it to look good in person. So I usually will like layer a couple tones. But this is pretty on Marley. This might be enough. Let's see. Let's do, this is shade Cream Brulee. This is actually a teeny, teeny bit darker. And I'm going to do this right in her um, tear area just to cover a little bit of blueness. Perfect. And I'll probably powder Marty, or Marty, <laughs> Marley's under eyes. A little bit so if I'm gonna set somebody's under eyes I like to do it pretty much immediately um, I just make sure the concealer is done self setting and then I go in there with my powder otherwise it's gonna crease and then when you go in with the powder it'll just be like setting the creasing instead of setting the concealer so today I am going to use um, our CMA nope because I dropped it I'm gonna <laughs> use I'm gonna use Laura Mercier secret brightening powder this is made for the under eyes this is fun I don't use this very much so we'll see if we like it on you I drop like one thing per live for sure because I have my I'm trying to like be at a good camera angle so I have my table kind of set in a way that's hard for me to reach so I always knock something over okay this is almost gone sorry I'm like tapping in front of the camera okay so I'm gonna use this is a Sigma brush this is the F 35 um, I like this because it's pointed so it's a really great look up for me to work under the eye area with and I just like to tap under the entire eye area I like this brush too because it's pretty fluffy and when you press it's gonna like feel nice under the eye hopefully that feels great mm -hmm. and it's just going to set it softly. So I'm going to go around the nose too. Okay. So you can see, like I said earlier, I want to put color back into Marley's face. So when I use the concealer with a, like a peach tone and her foundation had more of a yellow tone, those two different tones are already kind of setting a foundation of different colors for me. So I am also going to contour her. I've been liking creams lately. We're going to do creams. Um, because she's fair, I don't want to do my usual bronzing palette. I want to do something a little bit more cool. So this is the shade Fair. This is by Huda Beauty. Um, we're going to try this on you. I haven't used this one too much, but I have liked it when I have. So I'm going to put this on my hand again to warm it up. But this, um, the Huda Beauty contours, they're called tan tours. I only have the shade Fair. I just bought one shade to play with. They're very, very creamy, which I like. So they're good if you're new to um, to cream bronzers and contours because sometimes the creams are long wearing, so they dry a little bit more quickly or they're more waxy and they're pretty hard to work with. I think that's why people don't like to do creams so much, but this one, the couple times I've used it, it seems to blend out really nice and really easily. So I'm just using my foundation brush. I have one I like better for cream contouring, but I have it in my other kit and I always forget to, to put it over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stipple it on the areas that I want on Marley. So like high cheekbones and then around her forehead. And you really want to be careful when you do this that you are not lifting their foundation. Okay, I need a little bit more. I feel like I tend to use more of this product than my other one just because it does blend so well. So we're gonna um, get a little bit more and we're gonna do it right in her hairline. When I'm doing a cream contour and a bronze, like you can see this, it's a, 
a neutral undertone, but it does have some warmth. Like it's a contour color, but if it has any warmth to it, it's also a bronzer, so you want to act accordingly. So I like to add some color to the forehead. And because it is warm, I'm also bringing it up a little bit higher on her cheeks so it acts like a bronzer. And I'm going to get this area, and then I'm going to go back in with my Beauty Blender. Oops, a lot over there. So because this is so creamy, this particular brand, um, it really gives you a while to play with it and to work with it. So if, if I'm using a contour that um, really dries down pretty matte, like more of a long wear one, um, I will kind of do one side and then work on the other. But if it's more creamy like this one and it gives me a lot of time to play, I can draw out my map and then I can go in and blend it. If that makes sense. You're just getting like dabbed at <laughs> my blender. So I don't like to do much on the jaw. I just usually will do a little bit if I do it. It would be fun to do it on Marley. I'm excited to show you your makeup. This will be so fun. Do you feel like you know what it's going to look like because I'm explaining it, or do you feel like you have no idea? I don't know. A little bit because I can see <laughs> my reflection <laughs> on the camera. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Yeah, that's the the lens we have on our main camera. is It's like a little mirror, huh? I don't know if you can see your whole face, but you can usually see part of your face. You get a little sneak peek, Miley. Okay, so go ahead and look forward. In person, this is very natural. Like, it just looks like a natural contour. Sometimes in camera, it looks a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, but it's looking great to me. So I'm now going to go in with some powders and set this slightly. So I'm going to use my Hoola Benefit Bronzer. Let's see if we have any questions. All right. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining us. Oh, someone says they have a skin tone similar to yours. Yeah, this is a great video for you then. Because um, it, it can be a little bit tricky if you have a redness in the face, which honestly so many of us do, and I like it. Like I feel like Marley with her skin tone, it just looks like she has natural like blush, blush look. It's it's very pretty, it's very flattering, but when you do go to match it with foundation, if you wanted to do a full coverage like we're doing on Marley today, um, sometimes it's hard because we want to just match our face, but you really have to match the full, the full person. And then someone asked, uh, when would you use a brush versus a beauty blender? Um, so anything you can you use a beauty blender for, you can always do a brush for it. Like there will be a, a brush for it. I just really love, it's the finish the beauty blender gives. So I like to use it kind of as a finisher. Like I'll go in and get my product on with a brush and get my area sculpted. But I like the way the beauty blender just really presses it into the skin without disrupting the foundation and it makes everything look really smooth. It's just faster, essentially. Like I can use a Kabuki brush and I can also pack it into the face and get it really smooth, but it's just gonna take a little bit longer. Okay, so now we are going to use my Hourglass palette that I love so much. <gasps> no, we're not, it's in my, it's downstairs. Okay, we're not gonna use it. We're gonna use, um, let's use the Nicole Guerrero palette. And we'll add a little more bronzer. Drop my palette. Okay, so usually for my hourglass palette, I like to accentuate the bronzers a little bit more. It's very, very light. Um, but since I do not have it, I'm going to go in a little more with the Hula bronzer, but so light because this is a little darker than the hourglass. But I want to get it on like the tops of her cheeks slightly. So pretty, Marley. I love doing your makeup. Marley told me her prom, right? Prom? Mm -hmm. Maybe a 1920s theme. We're hoping it is, like Great mm -hmm. Gatsby. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's like my favorite classic book. Uh, I haven't read the book, but I saw the movie. Guys, I do have my hourglass palette. It was hidden, <laughs> so I'll show it to you. We'll add some more. So I love this bronzy color. So I'm going to add a little bit. So we're going to use, it's like a beveled brush. This is like, 
a giant version of this little guy that I did under her eyes with. Um, I just really like the shape of brush lately. So this, um, we're just going to get it like on the top of her cheekbones, almost like where you would put blush. So I'm going to do blush on her apples and we're going to do bronzers up here. Oh, I'm so happy. I love my little hourglass. So another thing for Marley that I'm loving is just to layer different tones of bronzers. Um, contouring, it's giving a lot of color to her face and it's very, very pretty. And she has like a natural glow, like her cheeks almost look like she's highlighted. A lot of people that have a little bit of dryness in their skin, for some reason, the benefit of that is you just look glowy, I think, because the skin is usually more flat and it just reflects light really pretty, actually. So That's just my personality. I glow. You're just glowy, Marley. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I know, in fact, we were teasing Marley earlier because... When we were setting up the cameras, every time she left the frame, the colors would change. But when she came back in, it would like turn different colors and be beautiful, like the white balance would change. Just our little angel, man. Just glow. So same palette, hourglass, and doing the highlighter. I like to do this as my base highlight. And then we're going to go in. Let's do this one. Okay, this is a glow kit. This is by Anastasia. Similar formula to the Nicole Guerrero I showed you guys, um, but this one is just neutral tones. So we're going to go in with Moonstone. I really like the undertone of that. <laughs> I thought I got that powder on you. I didn't. And we're just doing a little, little bit. Actually, I'm going to mix it with Summer, too. Because Moonstone wasn't pulling light enough on her. We're just dusting it on her high cheekbones. So pretty. All right, let's contour her nose a little bit. Um, let's use a bronzer, though. Sometimes I do creams. We're going to do a little bit of a bronzer today. You have a great nose, aren't we? Thank you. Did you get your mama's nose? I feel like she has a good nose, too. <laughs> you look, I don't know. I just got a good one. I always ask questions when I'm probably way too close for comfort. You're like, I don't know if I can talk right now. I mean, I have a little brother, so I'm used to people being, like, right up in my face. <laughs> You're such a good big sister. Little brothers are the best. I have five little brothers. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it gets better as they get older. Cause yeah, because they... you don't got to live with them. <laughs> No, because they become more calm and like less rowdy. Your your brother's not necessarily rowdy, but mine were like wild. And as they grow, they become like my BFFs, and I love them. I wouldn't know. I have one sister, and I don't think I would know what to do with like many many sisters. In fact, when I like was your age, and I was eighteen, and I moved out, and I lived with a bunch of girls, I was like. Why do you guys like cry all the time? Like, why are you so emotional? Why are you always mad? Like, I'm so confused. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. I'm very, very girly, but like, I don't know. Go ahead and look up. So I'm just defining her under eye a little bit. I actually had not put any shadows under here. I had only done um, what had like fallen kind of from the top. So this is the same bronzing color that I did before. Pretty pretty. And then I'm going to take, this is a cute little brush. This is um, from a pack of Morphe eyeshadows that I bought and it is like very, very tiny and beveled. It's like a pencil brush, go ahead and close, but it's a little bit more flexible than a pencil brush and not pointy on the top. It's rounded. It's a cool brush. I really like it. And I always do mascara on the lashes. I usually do it at the end. Um, but I also, I'm going to do her blush too. So I'm going to go back in to, let's see, let's do this Anastasia highlighter. This is the Amrizi highlighter. This is a very, very pretty golden shade. Go ahead and look forward. And we're going to do your inner eye highlight again. I really, really like to layer highlights. Marley is now sporting like seven different brands of highlighters on her face and you look beautiful. What? 
do a little nose highlight. I think it's cute. Cut them up forward. So you can see this is very, very reflective. The Omrizi highlighter is very um, shiny, which I like. Okay, let's do a little mascara. We'll check our comments. I like your nails. Thank you. I got little rainbows on them because Brielle's birthday is on Saturday and we're doing rainbows. Uh, what color is the foundation? So it's the NARS Natural Radiant and it is the shade Light 3. So it's very, I'll hold it up to some of the other shades. So this is Light 2.5 and Light 4.5. So you can see it is definitely like the yellow tone. So we are very yellow here. This one's more pink. This is more neutral. So for Marley, I did the yellow undertone. So that's a good one if you are yellow tone and fair. Someone likes your contouring. Looking good. Yes, I do list everything in the description box after the video is live. So when you see the thumbnail change to Beautiful Marley's Face, all the products will be listed. Is the brand of makeup you recommend for young skin compared to mature skin? Do you, like, do you prefer NARS for mature and something else for younger, younger or is it universal? So the NARS one is pretty universal. I'm going to start doing her mascara. The NARS one... I didn't think I would love it on mature skin, but I do. It's very pretty. I like it because I can get the coverage that they need. I feel like on mature skin, usually the women have good skin, but I do see a lot of um, age spots, and they can be hard to cover with a more sheer foundation. So I feel like the NARS covers those very quickly, which is like one layer, but you still, it has a great finish. It doesn't look too cakey. Um, and then the NARS one, I love. Go ahead and open and look down. I'm just going to hold your eyelid and put some mascara in. The NARS one I love on younger skin um, if they love the full coverage. The only time I don't like it if I is if I'm going for a dewy look. Like if Marley came to me and was like getting family pictures, look over this way. And she's like, I don't, I just want to like photograph well, but I don't, like she's natural. So she, maybe she's like, I don't want to look like I'm wearing makeup. I wouldn't do the NARS. Go ahead and look up. So if I'm doing like a dewy natural, I used to use a lot of makeup forever. Um, there's a couple other things I like, but hopefully that answered your question. Ooh, you have great bottom lashes. They're nice and thick. Do you do mascara ever? Um, sometimes. Yeah. Just a little bit. A little bit of it. You have pretty dark lashes, though. Like, your, your top are almost black. I inherited them from my mother. Ooh, thank you, Mama. How kind of her. Go ahead and look down. Usually it's from the dad. Like if there's any good lash things, it's like, oh, my dad. He has, the, like the boys always get the lashes. Go ahead and look down. Like your little brother, oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Right? Like doesn't he have like amazing lashes? He got all the good jeans. He got all the good jeans. Go ahead and look up. He's a cutie. So did you, Marley. You guys, well, you have a very pretty family. Mom, Marley's whole family is very good looking. Cute. Go ahead and look forward. So you can see, so black mascara, brown lashes, it just makes things pop. It just defines it a little bit. I have um, mascara on my finger. I'm just going to remove that. All right, Marley. Blush and lips. Do you care what I do? Or should I keep doing my own thing? Keep surprise you. Do whatever you want to do. Okay. Love it. Um, okay. Let's mix a couple blushes. Since I'm just into throwing lots of products on you because I'm loving it, we're going to do two different blushes. This one is Melba by MAC. It's very pretty. I'm liking the peach on you. Like your hair is kind of caramel. Like this caramel mm -hmm. blonde, blonde brown. So we're going to do some of that in your makeup. Really, you're just looking like a little model. Looking so grown up. What will your dad say? Does he mind if you were to wear makeup? I don't think he really cares as long as I'm not wearing anything inappropriate. Got it. Some dads are like, don't wear makeup. You look grown up. Don't grow up. Mm -hmm. So some don't care. My dad's like ready for me to grow up and move out, so. <laughs> You'll come home and he's like, okay, Marley, you could pass through 20 times to move up. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sure they love having you. You're a great help and fun. They love having me around because I'm the babysitter. No, oh, the babysitter. That's the oldest child. Me too, Marley. But with five, six, mm. six younger siblings. I couldn't do that. <laughs> you could, Marley. You are great.
Okay, let's clean up under the eye a little bit and do lips. I may do that rebel shade that I think you will love if I have it. I don't think I'll go as dark as it goes, but we'll do like a light wash. Maybe. I also might do peach. I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. Whatever you want. I can always try the other ones later. True. I'll send you some home. Um, Elizabeth, hello. Thanks for watching. Discover your videos a couple of weeks ago. Really enjoyed the mature makeovers. Went shopping after watching them. Love watching your videos. Very relaxing. Thank you. That's so sweet. Yeah, the, the videos on those models, people seem to love, and I'm so grateful. They were fun for me to make. <laughs> My sister's on the chat. Megan, thanks for joining us. She said, you love having five of me. I would. You guys, my little sister is such a cutie. I would love having five of you, Megan. <laughs> Thank you. Um, love the shape and fullness of her brows, right? Marley, they're all Marley's. Like, I just put in some brow gel that was tinted. Um, why do you push with dry skin? So no rubbing, good tip. Yes, with dry skin, um, rubbing will disrupt it. If you have dry and flaky skin and you're rubbing, you're just gonna like lift the flakes and it'll look more textured. So with dry skin prone to texture, you press. Press, press. This is rubble. This is the purple. Oh, I do like it. Yeah, I knew you would. I'll give you some to take home. I Let's try like a little. Let's see if we like it. I think I wanna do peach on you though. Mm -hmm. So Rebel by MAC is a very fun shade if you guys have never tried it. I love it on everybody, but it is like, it is a look. Like it has its own vibe. It's good for fall. It almost matches like when it's sheared out. It's almost like a berry, kind of like my shirt. It's going to be, we're going to do like a light wash of it, and then I'm going to put a peach over top because it's a little too, a mm -hmm. little too pink for my vibe today. But this, um, this Rebel shade though, is like if you layer it it gets very very deep like you know the lipsticks everyone wears in fall that's like very like not gothic like a wearable <laughs> gothic like a very mm -hmm. deep lip that that maybe is uh i could come on here and you can give me like kiss makeup <gasps> yes marley come back i love doing your makeup and you'll know what you're in store for <laughs> if you come back no i'm just kidding okay let's do okay spirit or Honey Love, let's see. Let's do some Honey Love on you today. That will be pretty. Honey Love is a honey toned nude spirit. It's kind of like the darker brown older sister of Honey Love. So we're gonna try Honey Love first. Someone outside, very relaxing. Thank you guys. Kiss makeup, yeah, someone wants you to do that. <laughs> I mean, I'm down if you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have to look it up. I don't know. They have, like, stars on their face and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Am I, is that right? Kiss makeup? I know who they are. Ooh, this is a pretty peach on you. Have you ever done peach? Peach lips? Peach lips? Or peach lips and cheeks before? Um, I think my mom did it to me a couple of times. It's pretty. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop them now because they take a little bit, a little while to load. And Megan, if you're still there, I'm so honored to have you in the chat today. My little sister's the cutest. She's been on my channel before. She had a black eye and um, she just bruises really easy. Like it was just a light like bump. She ran into something and she got like the biggest black eye. So we did a video on how to cover it. Um, cause we were taking family pictures. <laughs> it was pretty bad. So she, if you guys have seen that video, that is my sister and she's a cutie. And she also, I did her makeup. She was like one of my first models. Cause when I first started my channel, I would like live stream looks like I am today. And I was so nervous. So my sister, like she was visiting from Utah and she was my model. It was very cute. It's good sport. Check the chat really quick as I spread that. Someone says your lipstick color is pretty. It is. So this is Honey Love by MAC, and I love it. It's a great nude because it's not. it does not wash anyone out, and I really love the peach undertone. Like, it looks really great with the Melba Lush that I put on her today. They pair really well together. They have the same kind of peachy, like, blush undertone. Let's 
So this is good. If you want something a little bit deeper, I like Spirit. Um, there's another MAC shade. I'm blanking on the name right now. But it's also deeper than this and like a little bit more orange. Like if you have more of a medium toned skin, that one's really pretty. If I remember when I'm writing the description for this video, I'll add it. But this is pretty on medium and darker skin too. It just looks more and more nude the deeper skin tone you have. So like on Marley, it's going to be like a, like a darker nude kind of, like more of a true peach. But if you had like a, a medium skin tone, it would look more of a nude, like more of like a Kardashian nude. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you were dark, same thing. It would just look kind of even more of like a light color, but it's very pretty. Okay, guys. I will also be live streaming again tomorrow, and there will be a giveaway tomorrow. So if you catch me live, a lot of times I do giveaways. Um, we usually start around like between 10, maybe 10, 20, but we always have the little video pop up. So if you search my channel, we keep the thumbnail the same always. So you'll know like what my live thumbnail looks like. It's the one you clicked on today. It'll say live on it. So click on that and you can watch us live. And then when the video uploads later in the day, I change the thumbnail and I add the description box. But if you catch us live, I love to hang out with you guys. I love to answer your questions. And sometimes there will be a giveaway. Okay, I'm adding a little bit of gloss, just a clear gloss. This one has a little bit of a tingle in it, a little bit of lip plumping. Okay, let's go ahead and flash Marley's before. Go ahead and face forward for me. So we're gonna flash her before, before we did the brow gel, um, before we did the full look. And then we're gonna show Marley. Are you ready to see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll grab you near. You can hold it if you want oh, to. Oh, it's so pretty! <laughs> you little babe, Marley, you're so cute. It's still natural. My style is natural. Do you mm -hmm. like? Yeah. Yeah, you look so I good. I like it. You look pretty, Marley. Thank, Thank you. Thanks for being my model. You're mm -hmm. the greatest, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for being up for anything, Marley. You're the best. Mm -hmm. We'll have Marley back. We will do We'll do a 20s look. Maybe we'll do it even if your prom doesn't do that because I feel like that'd be fun, the waves, and I like that makeup and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So Marley will be back. I will be back live again tomorrow, most weekdays, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific time. So I will see you guys again. Bye.